State. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 95 and 40,175 after making another all time high. The SP also made an all time high today. It's trading at 5850.60, <clears throat> up uh, $8, uh, $8, just uh, pulling back from the uh, intraday high. The QQQ uh, was strong early on. Uh, it's now down from the high, but still up $1.38 at $4.92. 29 struggling a little bit. And one of the reasons is that the semiconductors uh, were very strong earlier on, and they pulled back a, a little bit. They're up 750, which is very good action at 254.82. IWM, the Russell 2000, has pulled back. There was been, it's been a lead, and that's what it does. It leaves these leads and suddenly does a disappointing show, and the next thing you know, it comes back again. But that's the way the small caps tend to act. Looking at and uh, right now it's at 225.24, down a dollar fifty. Looking at uh, gold, uh, gold is up uh, 19. Wow, that's a big move, uh, at an all-time high. Uh, 2710, very strong action. Um, he has that cup formation taking out the left side high. So is this a brand new A or is it an old F? We don't know. All you're looking at is the MACD. If it actually crosses positive in this particular phase. That adds another couple of points to the upside. Hasn't crossed positive yet, and stochastic's still weak at 70%. So uh, watching that closely, let's go to the dollar. The dollar. Oh, I didn't do that during my show. I wanted to do it, then forgot. Dollar was very strong. It's up 29 ticks at 103.81. And uh, all I can say is that if the dollar acts like this and gold moves up, remember, they're looking at different things. Gold is looking at, the, I think it's more a Middle East issue. Um, the dollar is international currency of, of preference, and that's the dollar. Let's look at crude oil. Crude oil trading right now up 54 cents, not doing very much. It's the bonds. Oh, I didn't do that in my show. I wanted to do a whole thing on bonds, and I forgot. Bonds have given back the gains down a dollar and 930 seconds. Whew, dreaded H pattern. Got to be real careful. It doesn't go to 119. Those yields will then go up quite a bit. So as it stands right now, I'm anticipating that the E-mini, if I can just go to this chart real quickly, is going to test the 200-period exponential moving average. I mentioned that in my show, ESZ24, the at 58.88. Oh, it's just done that. All right, it better hold that. Otherwise, you're going to see weakness into the close. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and stay tuned. Great programming here at TFNN. Check out my opening call, Daniel Newsletter. See you tomorrow.